What's up guys, it's Brandon here from The Refined Investor where we talk about everything from business, finance, passive income, and beyond. Now today we're gonna to be talking about budgeting for beginners. Um, and budgeting is a great tool and, and something that everyone should be doing, right? If you wanna know where your money's going and of course how much you have left over at the end of each and every month. So I have a spreadsheet that I'm about to show on screen um, that essentially maps out everything from you know credit cards, uh, nine to five income, side hustle income, um, stocks, crypto, um, and some other areas that um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that'll help you basically know where your money's going and how much you have left. And there's formulas in the spreadsheet, so um, it essentially spits out a number at the bottom, and that number is what you have left. It's a spreadsheet that I think is really easy to follow along with. Um, it's something that's super simple to use and I hope you guys can get value out of it. Again, if you want a copy of this spreadsheet, just comment down below that you'd want me to send you it, and I'll go ahead and send it over. All right, well, without further ado, let's jump into the spreadsheet. All right, so we're here in the spreadsheet, and I'll give you kind of a tour of how it's laid out. So, uh, and again, for your own situation, you can go ahead and um, label you know, mortgage, rent, whatever uh, you personally have, but, in this area, um, you know, we have everything from your mortgage or rent, uh, if you have a HOA, um, and then fixed costs like um, that you're going to have every single month that fluctuate, like electric bill, gas bill, uh, car payment, uh, internet, car insurance, stuff like that. And then you guys might have more, but essentially all that's going to go right here um, in this column. Uh, I have a column for credit card. It's kind of all bundled together. Uh, but this literally lets you know how much you're spending each and every month on your car, which you, you should be paying off in full, by the way. Um, we have a, a net income or take-home pay um, here. And then I like to, to break out commission, um, right? Which um, this in this example, this $4,000 um, would be inclusive of this commission. I just like to break out, um, you know, if you have a commission job, what uh, percentage of your net income is commission in terms of that dollar amount. Um, over here, we have investments, right? So if you invest in crypto, how much you invested in, there's a total at the bottom. Um, the stock market, what you invested in, how much you invested in, and then of, of course, there's a total there at the bottom as well. Um, we have um, essentially cell B15 here, just categorizes and, and summarizes everything um, that gets drafted um, from the bank draft here. Um, and so that's why that's in red there. And then we have credit card, that's the total from up here, cell uh, C3. And then of course, net income total is right here. And then um, we have a combined, and this is a formula right here. So it's just um, B15 and C15 uh, combined. So these two, um, these two totals. And that gives us exactly what um, we spent between drafts and credit card. Down here, I have a section for side hustles, right? So if you, you know, do copywriting on the side, or maybe you do, you know, um, you know, drop shipping or Amazon FBA or whatever, there's um, essentially just a slot for supplemental income. Um, and then if we scroll down here, we have a supplemental income um, total here, and then we have our nine to five income that drops down uh, here as well, uh, row E15. And then we have the income grand total, which is um, C31 and E31, so the nine to five income plus any supplemental income there. Uh, we have our total expenses brought down um, here from C17, uh, which is right here. And then right at the bottom here, we have uh, money saved each and every month, which is um, just a subtraction of uh, C35 and E35. This should be an extremely easy to follow spreadsheet, right? Um, each and every month, you're just literally gonna track everything that has to do, um, you know, being drafted out of your account, uh, you know, your credit card, um, obviously what you're making net income at your nine to five or the business you own, um, all your different investments, um, and of course, uh, any supplemental income that you have. Um, so this is just a very, very easy, easy way to track uh, how you're doing. So I hope that spreadsheet was super helpful. Um, I think it's pretty easy to use. And again, if you guys want a copy of that spreadsheet to use uh, for yourself, just drop a comment below and I'll go ahead and send it over to you. 
Um, you know, and just knowing exactly what you're saving will just help you know what, you know, to allocate towards vacation funds or allocate towards paying off, you know, paying down certain debts, uh, what have you. And I just know that so many people don't really know, hey, what's left over? And obviously that's a detriment. Um, to your financial health, really. And it's even fun kind of to play a game with yourself. Uh, you know, how much money can you actually save and see that number kind of go up and up and up in terms of money saved uh, really every month. And if you think that you have a spending problem, right, I think going down and breaking down the actual credit card that I, you know, I lump summed it into like, hey, this is just the credit card amount. But if you have a spending problem, obviously you're gonna need to go ahead and see, hey, well, what areas can I cut back on, right? Is it going out to eat? Is it, you know, alcohol? Is it um, wh whatever, you know, and you, you wanna be able to effectively manage that every single month to make sure that you're saving enough for your future. All right, guys, well, I hope this video was super helpful for you. Um, again, if you want that spreadsheet, just comment down below and I'll send it on over. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.